Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 34, I believe. In the last episode, we did everything that we could do at the Sevi Islands for now. But there is going to be more that we can do post-game, but we're cruising through. Now, we're back in Kanto and we're going to be doing the next two episodes. This one and the next one are going to be side quests that we can do before we go and gain our eighth and final gym badge. Now, something that I did off screen is I actually went and traded uh, here on Cinnabar Island. There is that po the trainer that asked for a Venonat for a Tangela. Now, the only reason I did this is because one, it will add the ID number to our uh, thing here. So this Pokemon will always come as Sassy Nature met in a trade uh, and it will also importantly come with those items or those attacks and it will also come with an item, a Stardust. So it's worth doing, I think, literally just for the Stardust. Um, that's why I did it, and I think that's worth it. So now I'm just gonna grab my Spearow so that we can actually get to where we're going. All right, so this is actually uh, one of the favorite, one of my favorite uh, uh, side quests that we can actually do here. So we'll go ahead and use our little birdie 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 to fly all the way up here to uh, Rock Tunnel. So I said Cerulean, I meant to say Rock Tunnel, my bad. My, 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 my bad. Now, you might remember uh, back episodes ago, so like probably 10 years ago, I believe, is when we did this. There's this uh, portion of water here that we couldn't go before, uh, and we started discovering that there were some electric types outside of Rock Tunnel, like Voltorb was out here, which was strange. Well, now we can use Surf. Now, you could have done this at literally as early as you got in Surf. Uh, the only problem with that is that the reward here is something that is going to be way beyond your level. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, at an adequate level before you attempt to do this. So let's fight this trainer. Wow, you came all the way here. Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Want to see my collection? Sure, dude. So we are going to fight Pokemaniac Mark, who's going to send out a Rhyhorn. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send out our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Poseidon, who's going to one-shot it with... Uh, that and Lickitung, which is a Pokemon that we haven't, we, I don't think we've gone over it, but we will because we're going to be getting one. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Ice Beam, take that down really quick. He's not angry and he got us, oh my god, over 2,784 Poke Dollars for winning, which is just so wonderful. Now, I believe this item, if I'm not mistaken, is right here. There we go, and we'll get a Max Ether. Obviously, like I said in previous videos, absolutely worth getting. All right, so, welcome to the power plants here in Kanto. There are some new Pokemon that we can get here, uh, including the evolved form of Voltorb. So let's go ahead and take a look at those Pokemon right now. So the first Pokemon that we're going to look at here in the power plant is Magnemite. Magnemite has a 30% encounter rate here in the power plant, but more importantly than that, it's evolved form Magneton has a 10% encounter rate in Fire Red and a 15% encounter rate in Leaf Green. Now, it is a electric steel type, which is a super unique typing, but also making it very weak to ground type attacks. So do consider that. It is not immune. Uh, it doesn't have the levitate ability, which is interesting because Magnemite and Magneton are usually depicted as floating and flying. Uh, so it's very interesting that they don't actually have that ability. Now, if you did have to pick an ability here and you do want one on your team, I would definitely go for Sturdy. Magnet Pole is not going to help you as much as you would like. Uh, there are very, very few Steel-type Pokemon in this game. In fact, Magnemite and Magneton being one of the only ones. Uh, until the post game when another one is introduced its stats are pretty reasonable with a huge monstrous special attack of 120 its speed does kind of hinder it a little bit and one of the reasons why i didn't choose it for my team uh, but with that physical defense of 95 and that huge whopping special attack of 120 a magneton is a, a, a very decent electric pokemon that i would highly recommend getting if you don't have one on your team by now the next Pokemon that you can encounter here in the power plant is Electrode. Electrode is the evolved form of Voltorb. So if you already uh, got a Voltorb way early in the game, before we even entered Rock Tunnel, then you probably already have an Electrode by now. It does have two abilities, Static and Soundproof. I personally would recommend Static. I think that's a wonderful ability to have, although Soundproof can be okay. Uh, it'll make it immune to basically like the attacks like Sonic Boom and Screech. Uh, and growl and stuff like that won't affect Electrode. Now, you will notice that its speed is 140. It is one of the fastest Pokemon in the entire game, uh, and it definitely is the fastest electric type in the game. Special attack is decent at 80, and special defense is also decent at 80. It's worth mentioning that the encounter rate of Electrode is literally just two. There's only two in the power plant, and they are shaped like Pokeballs. 
it is a very interesting Pokemon uh, that I haven't actually personally used on a team. But looking at its stats, looking at its ability, uh, I would I would recommend it, I suppose. And the final Pokemon that we can find here in the power plant is one of my personal favorites. And what was going to be on the team, actually? For the longest time, I actually planned on having an Electabuzz instead of Raichu on the team. But the problem is, is you can only get Electabuzz after you have Surf. So it felt way too late to actually be able to have a full team. Uh, until after the sixth badge, which would be kind of crazy. Now, it's worth mentioning that this is a 5% uh, encounter rate in Fire Red. It's not available in Leaf Green. This is a Fire Red exclusive. It does come with the ability Static, which, as I said before, is amazing. Uh, and its stats are pretty decent, I suppose. Uh, it does get an evolution in the fourth generation games, which make it so much better. Uh, you'll see that that attack stat is actually pretty reasonable at 83. It's special attack at 95 with a speed of 105. You can do far worse with Pokemon, that is for sure. So if you don't have an Electric type and you're playing Fire Red and you really want a cool, unique Pokemon, I would recommend picking up an Electabuzz. So obviously, I'm going to be filling up my Pokedex a little bit here, so I'm not actually going to have a... Uh, I actually am going to do... No, no, I'm not going to do a Max Repel. I was going to say I was going to do a Max Repel, but I'm not! Right here is uh, hopefully an item. It might not be, so our first item uh, Pokemon that we can find here is a Voltorb. We already have one in our Pokedex. We got a Max Potion. Now, be careful getting items here because, well, you're watching, so you'll be able to see Magnemite. This is the first time that we've seen Magnemite here in the wild. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use Strength, and hopefully we'll be able to catch one. Oh, perfect. Great. Uh, Thunder Wave. That's unfortunate. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch this. We'll use a Great Ball because I don't think we'll need to use anything else. And boom, Magnemite was caught. Data was added to the Pokedex. It moves uh, with electricity and it, that it discharges. So obviously, being an electric steel type makes it super defensive, uh, which is actually pretty great. It's a, it's a pretty good Pokemon, to be honest with you, uh, as I have already said in the bio. Uh, that's the thing with doing the bio's post is that I say things that um, I already said in the bio because I haven't done the bio yet at the time of recording. All right, so let's continue on here. Uh, I don't think, I think we're missing stuff here. So I I, I, I kind of want to use a Max Repel just so that we don't keep, we're getting a lot of these, uh, these things. But there is a Pokemon that I really, really want to catch in this area. So, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that just yet. So, right over here, I believe, is a item. Okay, great. TM25 Thunder. That is a very, very low accuracy move. There we go. There's the Pokemon. Uh, one of the Pokemon that I wanted to catch. So, this way, we don't have to level up our uh, Magneton at all. We'll be able to go ahead, use Strength, uh, hopefully. Unless, w wow, we're just going to get, just not be able to do anything. Parafusion. All right, let's go ahead and see if a Great Ball will catch this Magneton. And it won't. And will it? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. And boom, we got Magneton, which is good. Another entry into our Pokedex. Magneton, a linked cluster formed of several Magnemite. It discharges powerful magnetic waves at high voltage. We will not give a nickname to Magneton. Obviously, I'm not going to use it on my team. Although, it was one of the Pokemon that I considered using on my team. Which is strange to me that we didn't get to. And if you don't have a Pikachu, you can get a Pikachu here now as well. Uh, which obviously I didn't cover in the bio because we've had Pikachu for a very long time. But you might not have, because it's rare in Viridian. All right. Down here is... Oh my god. You know what? Jeez. Jeezums crotch. So, right here is an item that is not actually an item. This is going to be Electrode. Now, Electrode doesn't show up uh, randomly. It has a certain thing that it does, which is there's only two, and uh, they pretend to be Pokeballs, uh, even though that makes no sense. So, we're going to try to see if we can catch... Uh, this electrode, which I'm hoping that we'll be able to do. Now, I'm going to use Moonlight. Uh, it's going to use Rollout, which should be fine because we are super tanky. Great. Great, great, great. Unfortunately, we're going to be paralyzed and not be able to move, so let's just go ahead uh, and use a Great Ball on it and see if we can catch it. Come on, get in that ball. There we go. So we got Electrode. We ha now have the, uh, the, the thing... The thing, the evolved form of Voltorb, it explodes in response to even minor stimuli. It is feared with the nickname of the Bomb Ball because it explodes. Uh, no, we're not going to be giving a nickname to uh, to that at all. 
Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, I don't think... I think I'm missing something up here. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. So there's still a Pokemon that we need to catch. Uh, no, I don't want to use another Pokemon, but... Okay, let me make sure that the Pokemon that we have out is Topher now. Uh, because obviously we're, we need him out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is an item. Alright, as soon as we get the Pokemon I'm looking for, I'm gonna pop that... Pop that booty. TM17 is Protect. We've seen Protect used uh, against us, so... Uh, and there's an Elixir. So both of those were actually items, and obviously there is an item hidden above us uh, that we can't get just yet. But worth mentioning that, you know... Um, oh my god! I know, I know, I know Electabuzz has such a low encounter rate, 5%, but should have been, should have showed up by now. I really just want to use a Max Repel. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. What is this, Amateur Hour? Alright. Holy crap, man. So many random encounters. Good thing that we're playing on an emulator, though, and we can just, we can just, you know, get rid of it. <laughs> um... Oh, Voltorb. Uh, you know, I'm actually kind of curious to see... Okay, I killed it. I was gonna see if I actually have Voltorb in the Pokedex. You know what? I'm actually gonna check real quick. Because I don't actually know. Yeah, we have Voltorb. I wasn't sure if we did or not. Holy crap, man. That's the way we just came. Holy crap. There's so many random encounters. Uh, obviously I could if I wanted to get rid of them. Now I believe this is an Electrode. No, that's Thunderstone. Okay, I believe the other one is an Electrode. Holy crap, man. Just give us what we need and call it a day. Urgh, it's so frustrating. There, there we go. There's the Electrode. So we will just go ahead and use Rock Slide on it. Uh, it'll take out half its health, not a big deal. And Rock Slide, boom. Cool. Easy peasy. Uh, and let's go Baby Boos. Not what I need. I'm just, I just want this Pokemon. I just want this Pokemon. Uh, and I believe the item that we're looking for is right here. You know what? I'm just going to use a Max Repel because um, it's super frustrating to keep having to like speed up and have the sound sound like crap. All that other jazz. So we're just going to go ahead and use a Max Repel. Even though we've pretty much gone through the entire dungeon already. Uh, oh, it's right above us. Okay. I'm glad I did that. And a max elixir. So we're fully filling up on those uh, elixirs and ethers and stuff like that, which is very good news for us. All right. Nothing here. And, uh, oh, what's... Well, there's an item here. Let's make sure we get this item first. What could this machine be? I wonder. Oh, my God. And we'll get another Thunderstone. So we got two Thunderstones here. Two Firestones in Mount Ember. What could this Pokemon be? Considered by many to be the most powerful of all of the Kanto legendary birds. This is Zapdos, electric flying type Pokemon with the ability pressure, just like its brother Moltres. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Encounter rate, of course, is just one, and look at that catch rate of just three. Being an electric flying type, it, that actually means that he has a type advantage over all of his legendary brothers and the trio leader, Lugia, if you've seen the movie. Uh, his base stat are also incredible. Special attack of 125 with a speed of 100 to actually do that, and an attack of 90 makes sure that he can also capitalize on those flying type moves in this game. He also has reasonable bulk with that special defense of 90, that HP of 90, and that defense of 85. Uh, this Pokemon is wonderful. It is, uh, in many people's minds, definitely mine, it is the strongest uh, bird, uh, legendary bird that you can get in Kanto. Hands down. Many speedrunners use it because of its variety of moves. It is wonderful. It's also worth mentioning that it will come with Drill Peck, which is a very powerful flying type move in this game. That's right, everyone. It is Zapdos, the legendary electric flying bird. Let's go ahead and start this battle. Wild Zapdos appeared. Go, Topher. Let's do this. All right. So, level 50, it knows the moves Agility, Drill Peck, uh, uh, Protect, I want to say? 
Uh, so make sure you save before you do this. I'm gonna use Rock Slide. Um, I don't think it's gonna kill it because of its huge defenses, which is perfect. Uh, it did a reasonable amount of damage. Uh, Thunder Wave is another one of its attacks. It doesn't actually know an electric type attack, uh, but that's why we have Topher out there, is because I do feel as though, uh, I'm gonna use Shadow Ball. Oh, he's gonna use Detect, which is gonna protect him. I was thinking he had Protect, but it's Detect. So he'll be able to kind of like withstand us, no problem. And don't forget that his ability is pressure, so it is possible that you will run out of TMs, uh, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna go ahead and use Shadow Ball here. Uh, I don't think, okay, good. So we'll be able to use another Shadow Ball as well. Uh, he's gonna use agility to increase his speed, even though I'm pretty sure he's faster than us anyways. This is not gonna kill it, but it is gonna bring it very low, very low indeed, uh, scary low. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can catch this in one throw. Let's use a Great Ball first, just to see if we can at least get a little wiggle wiggle. All right. One. All right, well, we got a wiggle, so this is gonna this is looking good, guys. Let's see how much Drill Pack actually does it against Nitto King. Uh, not, a, not that much, so we will be able to kind of tank him a little bit well here. So let's go ahead and use this one, two. Ah, almost had it. Come on, baby. Let's use this Ultra Ball. Nope, didn't work at all. Ultra Ball? Nope. Ultra Ball? Nope. <laughs> Let's use another Great Ball and see what happens. Don't use your Master Ball against this again. Uh, you don't really want to do that. Um, it appeared to be caught. Come on, Ultra Ball? Oh my god. You're a poop. You're a poop. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do you guys want to see me just struggle trying to catch it? or? No! Poison Point! Oh my god! All right, so I'm gonna switch out Noodle King so that we don't accidentally poison point him again. Uh, we're gonna switch to Bahamut, uh, who's not really gonna be able to tank him that well, but I'm hoping that it's not gonna be an issue. All right, so obviously I had to restart because I accidentally killed him with damn poison point. Let's go ahead, throw this Ultra Ball. No luck, no luck. Come on, Zapdos. Zapdos has always been the hardest Pokemon for me to catch. Uh, always, always, consistently. All right, so he was able to take out our, we're not gonna use Bruce because Bruce will die super quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and use our Poseidon, who doesn't have actually anything that we can use against it. Uh, status Infliction moves. We actually don't have any Status Infliction, uh, Afflicting moves at all right now. Uh, but I'm gonna see if we can catch it with a Great Ball. No? Great Ball? No? Alright. Great Ball? No? Great Ball? Oh my god. And we got it! Yeah! Gotcha! Zapdos was caught! No, oh, that was so hard. Guys, I spent I spent close to like an hour. No, that's not true. It was like 40 minutes, 30 minutes that I spent trying to catch Zapdos. And the so I I ran out of balls. He wiped my party. Like it was really hard. It was really hard. <laughs> but finally, we caught Zapdos. Uh sorry that you guys didn't get to see the wiggle uh because I was, you know, going through it. Uh, because I've been doing it for so long. Zapdos' data was added to the Pokedex, but you at least saw the caught. One of the legendary bird Pokemon. While it is flying, it makes crackling and snapping sounds. All right, and we will be giving a nickname to uh, the captured Zapdos. Now, I did hear back, uh, Julian would rather be named after after uh, Zapdos and not Moltres, so we will be renaming Moltres uh, at the, n the name raider. Uh, but Zapdos will be the one and only Julian. So there you go, congratulations, you are now with Moltres and Zapdos, but really you're just you're just Zapdos, okay? Don't don't get don't get penisy. Alright, we caught Zapdos, that's super cool. Uh, so two legendary birds are now in our party. And I'm gonna make sure that we catch the next Pokemon that we need to get in the power plant before we leave. All right, here we go. The Pokemon I was looking for is Electabuzz. Uh, I just want to make sure that we actually grab it and add it to our uh, Pokedex. So I'm going to hit it with a Shadow Ball. I don't think it's going to kill it. I'm hoping that we can just catch it. Let's try to fill our thing. And as you guys know, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of Electabuzz. Um, Electabuzz and Magmar, that little line. Uh, love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can catch him in an Ultra uh, a Great Ball. Uh, okay. We're just going to use an Ultra Ball then. Screw it. All right, we got Electabuzz. Electabuzz is added to the Pokedex. Uh, it loves to feed on strong electricity. It occasionally appears around large power plants. Uh, we won't be giving a nickname to Electabuzz um, 
Uh, but uh, it's important. Keep in, keep Electabuzz in your in your mind, okay? For like future, just do that. Uh, all right, so now we are done here in uh, in the power plant. We'll actually come out of the side here, which is interesting. Uh, in the original game, you actually came out the front door, even though you went out the side, which is which is just like a little a little thing. All right, so we are going to now fly to Fuchsia City uh, because there is something another side quest that we can do, another complete dungeon that we can actually go to uh, in complete that is here just south of, of uh, Fuchsia. Now, remember way back, not way back, but a few episodes ago, I said that you can get to Cinnabar going through the Seafoam Islands, or you can go to Cinnabar south of Pallet Town, and we opted to go through the south of Pallet Town because that's actually the easiest route. Uh, well, and also because I wanted to make sure that we did what we could here. Now, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are fans of Zapdos. Zapdos is, uh, actually one of the- it is, really, the strongest legendary bird. Many speedrunners will actually use, uh, Zapdos in their party just because it's so darn good. So how do you guys- how do you guys feel about Zapdos? Leave a comment! And, uh, and let me know. And I love you all very much. Thank you for watching. Never give up. Never surrender.